guys, welcome back to Pip's Closet. My name is Pip and today I thought it'd be fun to share with you a little bit of my jewelry collection. So what I think I'm going to focus on today the most is my vintage and also my second hand pieces that I've collected over the years. First I'm going to kind of show you how I store my jewelry. So I have this dresser and it has like those velvet lined drawers um, in the top drawers. So I like to keep all of my jewelry that I wear like all the time or is basically uh, pieces that I feel are trending jewelry pieces. So uh, what I tend to do every uh, season, every new season, I like to kind of prepare and look at the jewelry trends that are coming out and I will go through all my jewelry and pull out whatever I feel is similar to what is trending. So everything I have in here is pretty much like trending pieces and what I wear like all the time. And then I have in this other drawer here, um, it's like most, it's all necklaces and I have like one brooch and a couple of pins and uh, hair clips, but it's generally just necklaces that I've made over the years and uh, necklaces that I don't really wear. So I kind of keep them in here. And again, this is like things that aren't, these are things that aren't trending, but things that I made and that I still love. Um, and then up, up here I have, um, I don't know if you can see them, but I have my bracelets uh, on this little bar thing. And I really need to get a lot more of these. I think that uh, displaying your jewelry is really, really easy, uh, especially if you want to get dressed fast and you're like not in the mood to look through everything. Uh, but I like to put my favorite bracelets on here that are pretty. And then I have um, some more necklaces. These are necklaces that I made all of these. And I just like think they're really pretty. And I like to show them because of the colors. And then on here is, uh, I do hang necklaces. But I took a few off so that I could show you. But um, I generally keep some of my necklaces on the sides here. And then I have a bunch of earrings and these earrings are literally earrings that I've made most of this stuff um, with a few pieces that were gifts but most of these earrings I have made myself over the years and I just really like to showcase my work it just makes me feel proud of myself and it's you know it's my art so I started making jewelry back in 2010 when my son was born and I was really bored staying home and I wanted to do something new and learn something. So I've accumulated a lot over the years. Everything on here, I'm going to just show you. That way I don't have to try everything on. But yeah, most of these are all made by me. And some of them I don't wear. I just think they're great to have. They, you know, they might go with the perfect outfit. I think that's what I love about jewelry is I like to have jewelry because you never know what will go with the outfit you're wearing. So it's great to have it on hand. These are a pair of earrings I made last summer and they're with a gold, real gold um, chain. And I just really liked the drops on these. They're like a very deep yellow orange and they have like black striping throughout and I think they're just really, really fun and they look expensive. But I love these. I love these so much. These pair right here, these are leaf earrings. I actually made these after I saw the movie Sex and the City, the first one. And Miranda had a pair of similar styles in her ears when she was having her Valentine's dinner with Carrie. Uh, when she wanted to tell her about big. So I love these. They were really cheap to make and I just think they're fun that this is like that antique uh, gold and I wear these when I wear black. I feel like uh, they look really good when I wear black and I have a necklace I actually made to match that I don't really wear but I love it and I think it's really fun. Um, I've worn this mostly with like a black cotton maxi dress, um, like a sporty dress. I just think it's fun. Uh, these are another pair of earrings that I made. And I love these. These are the same gold that I used to make these. 
So I bought a bunch of these just gold links. They're like hammered metal. And I did wire wrapping for the first time uh, back, <laughs> let's see, I made these a long time ago. So about nine years maybe. And these are like a mixed combination. They are like uh, silver and gold and like gun metal. So they're kind of a various tone, which I kind of like. I just think they're really sophisticated, but also fun. And I wear these a lot when I feel like um, I want the focus to be on my ears. So I really love these. Definitely probably my favorite earrings that I ever made. Um, also wire wrapping wasn't that easy, but it, you know, it was fun to learn. Another pair that I really like are these. These were a dollar. Now I got them from this shop that everything's a dollar, all the jewelry, uh, you know, just super, super cheap stuff from China. It's uh, ridiculous. So what I go in is I go in looking for actual pieces that I can take apart. So these, I put real gold uh, findings, ear wire and the uh, attach the gold uh, rings, jump rings. They're all real gold and I love these, a dollar. I had the uh, expensive findings on hand and I just think they're really pretty. I mean, and they're so lightweight and resin earrings are a major trend and they should actually be in here because this is my trending drawer. So I'm gonna put these in here. This is what I like to reach for most, so that's that. But yeah, those are all my earrings. I love this necklace. This is something that I made. I really love the combination of gunmetal and this brushed or antique um, bronze color. I think that this is a beautiful color combination for jewelry. So I'm gonna put it on. It's so pretty. I love this necklace because I love the light reflecting off of the gunmetal beads. Uh, there's something about the gunmetal beads being square shape and then the leaf having the soft shape to it. I really love this. I actually would not mind finding these leaves again if I could. I wouldn't mind having a pair of earrings to match. This is one of my favorite chokers that I made and you can wear it with this as the drop in the front, or you can just put this in the back and have it just as a choker. But I love this so much, the colors in this, and I love pearls. I put pearls in a lot of my jewelry I make. I use a lot of pearls, so I like to mix and match pearls with everything. Now I'm gonna get into vintage and thrifted pieces. So for my vintage and thrifted pieces, I'm going to use these two drawers and start there. So, okay, this is a fun necklace that I got um, for about $2. I love gaudy necklaces and uh, yeah, this is a fun necklace that I just really felt I needed. And I would like to collect more of these in all colors and layer them. I have these wonderful vintage hoop earrings. And these are what I wear every day if I want to wear a hoop. And these were passed down to me from my husband's grandmother when she passed away. So I really love these. Hoops are very important to me, like I said. Uh, I also have, these are like just were like a dollar and they're just like that real gaudy <laughs> that real gaudy uh fake chanel kind of style earring very grandma style i love earrings like that uh these are some one of my favorite pairs these are vintage and they were also like a dollar or two this is my favorite vintage necklace this guy this little elephant guy came from a consignment shop in Kentucky, and it's one of my favorite necklaces I ever got. I think it was about $10, worth every ten, every bit of the money. I thought it was such a great find. I have a brooch that I love. This brooch is so cute, and I paid like, I think three or five dollars at the consignment shop. It looks vintage, but I don't know if it is. This is a beautiful locket. This my mother found or bought over the years and uh, when she passed away, uh, both my parents are passed away. So 
I have everything. And uh, this necklace I thought was so pretty. I love it. Let's see. I have a vintage necklace that my grandmother, who just passed away from COVID-19, she was 90 years old. Um, she gave this to me when I was eight for my 18th birthday. And I had always wanted this, I guess. I used to stare at it all the time in her jewelry collection in her house. And um, she gave it to me for my 18th birthday. I love it. I never wear it. Uh, it's a very special necklace. So that's pretty much it for my vintage things that I wear and that I love. Now I'm going to kind of get into my secondhand purchases that I feel are wearable like all the time that I wear or that I just really can't believe I found for super cheap. This was a necklace I paid I think a dollar or two dollars for and I every time I would go into the thrift store I would see it and there was two of them and this one was a little different than the other and I just really love this necklace. It's just that Egyptian kind of song. I just love it. I think it's so really cool. I don't know what it's like a pharaoh. I, I don't remember. But I just I love the turquoise in it and silver together. It's so pretty. I'm gonna get more into necklaces. I have a lot of necklaces. This one, chokers are like really trending. So I got this green uh it's like a cat eye bead. And uh, I didn't have anything this shade of green for necklaces, so I really like it. Then I got this other one, this other choker, and these are really trending, these style necklaces right now. So they're great with summer dresses and like beachy, fun straw bags for summer. Definitely, uh, I love it. Got these awesome clip-on earrings. They hurt my ears really bad but I truly love these. They were really cheap. And these earrings here, these are literally my favorite earrings. They are just chain lengths. You know, the chain and big heavy chains are trending a lot. Still trending, you know, for this spring, next fall, I think. But chain jewelry, very big. These were $5 and I love that they're gunmetal, silver, and then like a brushed nickel. Very cool. I'm really into details like that with jewelry. Oh yes, this is definitely one of my favorite necklaces as well. Came from a resale boutique in town and I just love the colors in this. The stone's so pretty. I'm not sure what this is called exactly, but I just, I love the chain it came on and everything. And I tend to wear it with these pants that I have on. I just think it goes really nice together. So yeah, love that. And then I also got this. Now I put my own chain on this. This is a very nice gold chain, a rope chain. And I am obsessed with this. And this is great for layering, for layering other delicate uh, brace or necklaces. I think that's about it for thrifted jewelry. Um, let me go in over here quick and see if I have anything else. Over here I have more earrings. I do have a pair of thrifted. These are like vintage and we're thrifted. These are just such a cool, I love these earrings. They are so pretty, the shapes and the color, green and I love the gold, but these are another pair that I love. Uh, whatever, oh, I have one more thing, yes. I bought this seashell necklace. It's just a single strand, uh, but I love, love, love it. And I actually made it so that it can be a double stranded necklace. So I added some jump rings and some attachments in the back, some clasps, and I can wear it like this. Or I can just wear it as a single strand and take them off if I want. But this is, I think this was like $2 or $1.50. Crazy, crazy, crazy. So I hope you liked some of my collection today. If you want to see more, please leave me a comment below and I will show you more of my jewelry on another another day. So let me know if you want to see more. Otherwise, I hope you enjoyed seeing some of my favorite pieces in my jewelry collection. I hope you're all staying safe and are healthy and I'll see you soon. Bye.